You're not going to get... Uh, I'll, I'll behave myself, it's okay. fine. Ryan, you absolutely smashed it in this film. You were so wonderful, I loved it so much. Thank you. But did you even imagine when you were making it that people were going to love it as much as they are? No. <laughs> I had no idea. I, I, uh, it's, it's, so, it's such a surprise. I knew that we loved it and we had a great experience making it, but I had no idea that it was going to be received in this way. It's, yeah. uh, it's been really... Um, pretty amazing. I have to talk about learning to play the piano because you learnt it, what was it, in three months? Three months, yeah. Yeah, so are you someone who's good generally at picking up skills like that? Because it takes some people a lifetime to kind of learn that and you just looked like you had been doing it your whole life. Well, I had a great tutor and Damien had been trying to make this film for many years and he, it was his dream come true and uh, if I didn't learn I would shatter his dream and I didn't uh, I didn't want to do that so that was a good like you know pressure point when I felt like quitting. Yes now we go to shattering anyone's yeah. dreams. Are friends now asking you to play for them all the time? Are you kind of getting asked to play at people's weddings? And no stuff they're like asking that? me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I think my neighbors are gonna move. <laughs> I don't believe that. Just, it was just like the same pieces over and over and over all day, and I think uh, I, I appreciate the patience of the people in my life. Okay. <laughs> hey, we're still loving it at the moment, so okay, if cool. you want to come over here and play it for us. I'm still not sick of the songs, you know, which I think, you know, it's a good sign. No, absolutely, they're beautiful. Um, and the moments as well between you and Emma, the singing together, the dancing together, they were wonderful to see on screen. Is there any particular moment that you're really going to cherish from this film, making it? I think uh, there's, uh, you know, the scene that the, that the poster is from was kind of a big moment for us because we worked for three or four months on that routine and it's not just a dance. When people see the film, it's a, a scene, a song and a dance all in like seven or eight minute single take um, at a specific time of, of of, of day where the light is a certain way and all the lights are turning on. Everything just had to come together perfectly in order for it to work and we were all just hell-bent on, on getting there. And it, it, I, I remember when we finally did it and we, it was the first time that I stopped to look back kind of on how far we had all come and it was a nice moment. Yeah, I love that scene as well. It's so pretty. Um, and there is, of course, talk about keeping it going um, on a stage show version. So if they asked you, would you be up for it? <sighs> what kind of scratch are we talking about? <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not putting the money on the table here, but <laughs> I think people would pay a lot of money to come mm, and see you on stage doing this. I don't know, this. we'll have to get into the, to the semantics. <laughs> Or at least a one-off special, you and Emma, like at some point. No, I think they should probably, it, it would be great to see like a proper uh, Broadway version of it, you know. I mean, I think that the, this part of what works in the film is that these characters are, uh, you know, they're, they're fallible, they're human, they're not, um, you know, they're, they're, they're struggling, they're experiencing a lot of failure, it makes them kind of accessible and, and relatable. Um, um, but, uh, you know, that's the, the film version. I think the stage version would be great to see, like, real Broadway performers kind of uh, have at it. I mean, I would still probably choose to come and see you in it <laughs> if you did it. So, hey, well, you know, just consider it. Consider okay. it. All right. All right. You're right. Um, and I have to talk about awards. We are in the thick of awards season. Right. You know, I know it's not the most important thing. You've got family. You've got other things that are far more important. But do you allow yourself to kind of think about awards? Because this film is just doing amazingly. What was it? An unprecedented amount of globes up for 11 BAFTAs. I mean, that's amazing. It's not something we ever talked about or thought about. We just were thrilled to be able to make the movie, that we got it off the ground, that we finished it. That felt like we were all happy with that. And now just the response to the film has been so wonderful and the fact that people are seeing it multiple times and it's like a universe that people want to keep revisiting is, is is more than we could have expected, and then on top of that, to have it be acknowledged in 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 in, in, in these other ways, it's just uh, it's kind of like a movie. It's the, the experience of this movie has been like a movie. And you must have obviously loved the experience with of working with Damien because you're doing it again with First Man. So where are you kind of up to on that? Is that something that's already kind of going ahead? Is it all? 
quite new. Yeah, it's actually we. When I first met Damien, I met him about uh, First Man, and I knew that he was planning on making a musical, and so I was curious because I, I loved those uh, musicals of the '50s, the Gene Kelly musical specifically, and so we ended up just talking the whole time about that. Um, so we've gone on this whole journey with this film, but now we're finally kind of circling back to, to First Man, which is exciting. Well, I look forward to it. If it turns out anything like this, which was just amazing, I just loved it so much, I can't wait to see it. Ryan, well done with this film. It is beautiful. Thank you so much, Thank Ryan. You. Lovely Thank to you. meet you. Thank you so much. And let's, hey, let's finish with the elbow bump. There you go. Hi. Oh, oh my God! Sorry! Yay! Zane's got a, a, a great voice. Oh. I'll just leave it at that. I haven't wanted to meet you. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't met each other yet. We've got some lips behind oh. your teeth.